Hey guys, so tonight I am going to talk about the business side of some hair stuff. And this topic, it could be a little bit of a touchy subject. Um, and it can at sometimes get me a little fired up. <laughs> so I kind of have to, you know, tone it down a little bit with, with my opinions. Um, but I want to talk about how I handle dissatisfied, unhappy clients. And to me, this is something you are going to learn throughout your years of doing hair. Because most of the time as hairstylists that have been doing this for years and years, um, we kind of have learned how to deal with people somewhat. I have three instances that I can to this day remember um, how, I, how I've been treated. Now, there are two type of um, clients, in my opinion. There's, you know, just the something that I may have done or messed up because, let me tell you something, I will never sit here and say I'm the perfect hairstylist. I don't think any of us are. Any No hairstylist is because if you are, you're doing something wrong because I feel like I have learned so much through the years from my mistakes. If I hadn't have made those mistakes, I probably wouldn't be where I am today because I have, because I've learned and, um, it just, it takes, it takes years of figuring these things out. So the type of client number one is the client that just isn't kind of happy with what you've done, but in a very polite way goes about letting you know. The second type are the ones that A, are trying to get something for free or B, they're never going to be happy with anything no matter what you do. So <laughs> I've had to deal with those kind of people, you know, I mean, a lot th throughout my years. Not so much anymore because I don't put up with it. Like, I don't have to. I don't have time for it. Um, I had an instance. I mean, it's not been that long ago. And um, it, I would say it's been a little over a year ago. And I remember thinking, dang, you know, after all these years, you would think I wouldn't have these type of this type of client anymore. Um, but it still happens. It happens to the best of us. So I, this was the second time I had done this girl's hair. And she showed me what she wanted. You know, I thought I was, I was doing exactly what she wanted by her picture. You know, and I always have a thorough consultation with a client. So I get done. She hates it. So I'm booked. And... I still make it happen to where she doesn't leave until she's happy. So I get her color back on. I've got another client waiting, you know, that was very gracious towards me and, you know, was, was very kind and didn't mind waiting until I finished getting um, this girl's color on. Well, I didn't even have the color in style. And she's, she's still gripping, saying, like, it, it's going to be awful, this, that, and the other. And you guys, she walks out of my studio with balayage color on her hair. So I have to yell across the hall to my neighbor and be like, hey, look, she's walking out with color hair because anything could happen and that could all go on me. So I just needed like proof she was walking out with that on her head. And then as she's walking out the door, she calls me a bitch. And her mom was there too. I mean, this was a younger girl and her mom was there. And, you know, I, I tell the mom a price because she did pay me. And, you know, I, I felt bad for, you know, taking the money. But, yeah, I ha was trying my best to make this girl happy. And I couldn't even get the color off her hair before she was, you know, still still gropping at me. Like, she's leaving with color on her head. So, at that point, I'm thinking, okay, this isn't my fault. Th this is just an unhappy kind of person that's never going to be happy no matter what I done to her hair that day. She was just, she was just not going to be happy. I could have handed her a million dollars and she probably still wouldn't have been happy. So yeah, I take, you know, I charged the mom and then like she has some smart aleck comment towards me and then, um, so, and then I'm getting called a bitch while she's walking out the door. And, you know, years ago I would have boo-hooed and cried. I would have beat myself up, like thinking I'm just the most terrible hairstylist in the world, but I've just had to learn that that's not the way it is. Like just some people are not happy. And I had a lady one time tell me I ruined her Christmas. This was a long time ago because of something with her hair. And then, 
um, let's see, maybe a few months ago, this was like a second or third time I'd done someone's hair and she's all but texting me the following morning, all but cussing me out. And I offered to get her back in immediately. I apologized profusely. I said, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please come back in so I can see what happened because I didn't get to blow up dry her hair when I had done it. And I was like, I will stay till midnight to see what's going on because her, her schedule wasn't working with mine. But I offered to stay as late as I could. I offered to um, come in on my day. Like I'd never take Saturdays off. And I remember that particular Saturday I was taking off and I was like, I will come in on that Saturday. I, I will do whatever I can. So you guys, I will always try to make someone happy if they are dissatisfied with their hair. Like I will do whatever I can. I will stay late. I will come in even on a day I'm not working because I never want anyone to leave out of my chair unhappy. Um, now one thing I, d I don't do anymore is I, I don't give refunds because I, if I've tried two, three times, you know, I've never really had to do anything a third time. But if I've done all I can to try to make this person happy and there's nothing I absolutely cannot do, my time is still valuable, you know. Um, so the way I, I deal with that is if they are up, unhappy and upset and are going about it in such a rude way, then I do whatever I can to get them in immediately. I apologize. I, I don't blame them. I will always blame myself if they are not happy because I, like I said, I do, I do make mistakes sometimes. It happens to the best of us. Um, so I will, I will get to try to get them in immediately. Do whatever I can to make them happy. I will, and you know, sometimes I've had my regular clients, something is turned out too dark, it's turned out too blonde, and you know, I'll get them in and then I'll send them home, I'll send them home with some free products because I feel so bad that, you know, they were unhappy. And you know, that is fine when that happens, but it's when the ones that treat you like you're not even human, it it makes me so sick like I can't I can't handle it and I don't know where this mindset comes from from people and, and it takes standing behind that chair for a long time to figure out how how um, clients you know how, how to work with them so the, this is just like I said it's a little bit of a, a touchy subject and you know, I, I hate when, if anyone is ever unhappy. I told myself lately, especially after that last incident, is, you know, every, any job anyone has, we all make mistakes. But I feel like there is in some ways so much pressure put on hair stylists that we have to be perfect at all times. It takes all I have not to say that. I just want to say, do, have you ever made a mistake in your job? Because I just feel like, some people just think we are not a person. Like we are just supposed to be per like perfect at all times. And sometimes things happen. It can happen out of our control. It it just crap happens, you know. Um, but there's just there's definitely a right and wrong way to go about how uh, people treat their hairstylist. And I, I'm very big on that right now. I I like I said I don't put up with it anymore. If you're gonna treat me that way, and the one incident I was telling you about, she was booked out a couple more. She's 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 on my book for like two more appointments. I erased them because I'm not putting up with it. Like to be talked down to, and to be when I've done everything in my power to try to get um, that client back in, I don't I don't put up with it. Um, and you know you kind of have to stand your ground because that's when people are gonna start running over you. And I think that happened to me a lot. When um, you know I was new in this business, I would um, I would get a little I would get upset I would cry go, you know I would come home and it would just it would be awful because I would just I would beat myself up and you know once you gain your confidence you you will learn how they're just those people sometimes that you will never be able to make happy it doesn't matter if a celebrity hairstylist from L.A. is coming in to do their hair they're probably not going to be happy no matter what you do. Now, my regular clients that I do, um, like I said, their color model went too light, too dark. Um, I, I will do everything in my power to make them happy. And usually it is just fine after that. And like I said, I'll send them home with some products because I feel so bad that they've had to come back in. Um, but this is 
more probably geared towards the people that just just treat you like crap for no reason. Um, like, uh, let's see, I'd say about a month ago, I had worked so hard on, it was like a, on a Thursday, and I worked, I worked my butt off that day, and I worked hard on this last client trying to make her happy, and, and she was happy, she was fine, but I feel like sometimes, um, what we can do is just not appreciated, and I remember when she left, she was my last client of the day. I was walking out of my studio, walking down the hall, and the tears just start rolling. And I had to go out back, and I literally just boo-hooed because I feel like I, you can work so hard and try to make everyone so happy, but just sometimes you don't. Us as hairstylists, I don't feel like we're appreciated enough sometimes. Like, what we do is hard back breaking work and um you know there there's just no reason to be to allow anyone to treat um us a certain way you know but yeah that day i think i'd, I'd had enough <laughs> and then like i hadn't cried from work <laughs> and i can't tell you when i don't know what was wrong with me that day but i did i went to the back and i just boo like it like oh my gosh y'all I don't know what it was but it was just one of those times I, I worked so hard and, and didn't feel appreciated and you know some people can can still get to me and I, and I don't I don't know why I try my best not to let it that happen but I think any good hairstylist in some way you're gonna feel like you know, you're, you try to, everything in your power to, to make everyone love their hair. Even when we're having a bad day, and you guys, I've had a hard time for months, but I still go to work with a smile on my face, and I try not to bring my personal life into work, and, and that is hard. Like, that, that is the worst, because, you know, when you're having your own issues as a, you know as a stylist and you're having to put that happy face on and be all cheerful and woohoo <laughs> like it, it's hard and you know a lot of people kind of know I've had a rough time here lately but you know I, I still go to work with a smile on my face and I try to make my clients smile and they and, try, and I try to be happy and I mean that's just what you have to do sometimes but um yeah, I mean, it, it's hard. It's hard to deal with um, people sometimes. Like, like it, it can be tough. But one thing, again, is like when you've been in this long enough, you'll learn how how people just can overreact. Just be polite at first. Offer, the, offer to fix their hair immediately. Get them back in as soon as possible. And um, hopefully that will make them happy. If after that, the, that, that doesn't then there's nothing that's that's going to make them happy. I don't think any other stylist will because when people come in, first off, saying, oh, nobody's ever been able to do my hair. Because I know that that's not true, you know. So um, that, that is just how I deal with clients like that. And when it's your regulars, like I said, get them in immediately. Give them some products to take home. Um, just do what you can to make them happy. But don't let people run over you either because I've done it and I don't I don't anymore like I, I don't put up with it I don't think any of us should because we can you know things happen they really do in any profession in any job hopefully the second time around you will make them happy and they'll be a long time client and other than that there's nothing more you can do and just just don't let um, anyone run over you if you don't have to um, so thank you guys for listening to me ramble on I love the um, business side of hair and um, I don't get to talk about it a lot since I'm always working behind the chair doing hair but I love I love the business aspect of it um, you know I love marketing and, and and doing all kinds of stuff like that. So these little topics I, I love um, talking about, and that's obviously why I have a YouTube channel. Hopefully, it will be able to um, it will it will be able to help someone. So um, thank you for listening to me ramble on, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of my future stuff. See y'all soon. Bye.